Police were called to a property in Ashland Close just before 7pm last night. Officers attended alongside colleagues from the East of England Ambulance Service and, on arrival, found three women with serious injuries. Sadly, despite their best efforts, the women, who are believed to be related, died a short time later at the scene. The victims are aged 25, 28 and 61. Our overarching objective today is to protect public safety and to locate Kyle Clifford, who is wanted in connection with the murder of the three women in what we believe is a targeted incident. The women were found at 7pm last night with fatal injuries at their neat detached house in a quiet cul-de-sac in Bushy, Hertfordshire. They had apparently been tied up and shot with a crossbow and attacked with other weapons as well. It's understood the victims are a mother and her two daughters. The mother has been named locally as Carol Hunt, aged 61, and her daughters were 25 and 28 respectively. It's believed there is another sister. Carol's husband, John Hunt, father of the girls, is a BBC Five Live racing correspondent. He is said to have found his wife and daughters with their terrible injuries at their home and called 999. Police have named 26-year-old Carl Clifford in connection with this dreadful incident. It's thought he may have been a former boyfriend of one of the daughters who have not yet been formally identified at this stage. Uh, there was an armed um, operation this morning when officers burst into a house, which is where Clifford apparently lives in the Enfield area. The suspicion is that Clifford totally lost the plot and murdered these poor women after turning up at their house yesterday at some point. Neighbours in Ashling Close have told how a fleet of police cars and ambulances turned up there after the 999 call was apparently made by John Hunt. Locals were warned by officers to stay in their homes and they are clearly shocked by what has happened in their quiet community. The family are all professionals, as well as John being a BBC correspondent. Both daughters run their own small businesses, one apparently selling cosmetics and the other grooming dogs. Police and paramedics tried in vain to save the three victims, but they were all pronounced dead at the scene. Detective Superintendent Rob Hall, who is leading the inquiry, said with some un understatement that it was incredibly difficult for the family of the women to deal with. The inquiry is being carried out by the Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire and Hertfordshire Major Crime Unit. The unit is an amalgamation of experienced detectives from all three forces. They will be looking into Clifford's background and speaking to associates. Police have not disclosed any potential motive for the murders, but such cases are invariably domestic in nature, with victims known to their attacker. The son has been informed that one of the daughters was in a relationship with Clifford up to the end of last year and that he took it very badly when they broke up. Either way, the killer of these poor women must have had a serious grudge to do something so diabolical.